In short, it's a matter of consistency. Either just as Jerusalem is not the Creator, but merely its new name will be testimony to the Creator. Likewise, with the Messiah, having the title uh, being called with the name Adonai Sitapenu, the Lord is our righteousness. Either that will be just as Jerusalem, a mere testimony to the Creator's greatness, but not a reference to His actual being Himself, or just as Christians want to say that the Messiah is literally the Lord our righteousness. So also the city of Jerusalem is the Lord our righteousness. There's no difference in the text, all right? Um, and actually this isn't so strange. There are other instances where created things are given terms which are applicable to the Creator. One example is an altar named by Jacob. In Genesis chapter 33, verse 20, there he gives the altar the name El Elohei Yisroen. All right? He gives it this altar, the name. The, the name of this altar is God, the gods of Israel. For those Christians who like to translate it as plural, that's not a true translation anyway. All right? So are we going to worship this altar? Was this altar the Almighty? Um, that brings me to another topic. I've heard Christians try to say that uh, when we say God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yisrael, Elohe Yaakov, all right, this is a Trinity. <laughs> wow, another amazing proof. All right. If Christians want to be so adamant about Elohim being plural, all right, an actual plural in reference to the Creator, and not just an expression of the Almighty's exceeding, uh, exceedingly powerful acts in this universe, when we say Elohim, we're recognizing that the one Creator is exceedingly powerful in His many mighty acts. So if we don't want to say that, but we want to say it actually means a plurality of powers, which is the same as, as deities, you should know. Um, it's a mere matter of semantics in different languages. So here, we, we shouldn't say God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. Why? Because the term used here is the plural form in each of these three places. So we're not de definitely not dealing with the Trinity. Either Elohim is not intended in regard to the Creator to be plural in Himself, but only plurality of His of His uh, expression in the world. Um, if we don't want to take it that way, then Christians are left to say that uh, the only conclusion is that either it's not a plurality in reference to the Creator, even though it appears plural, or that God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is at least six different beings, okay? There's no trinity here. There's either one creator, or if you want to use this evidence, dear Christians, um, save your souls from worshiping a created thing. You have no idea. When your eyes will be opened, you will rent your clothes and cry. When you realize what you have done, it almost makes me cry. I can't believe I used to do this. You're saying, gods of Abraham, gods of Isaac, and gods of Jacob. And if you want to say that this is indicative of a trinity, then it's a trinity, each member of which is plural already. All right? So you have at least six there. I, case rested, all right? I don't think Christians are going to make that case. If you don't understand what I'm saying, please learn Hebrew. Otherwise, you you won't understand half the words you're saying and uh, you're finding in your own Greek New Testament, but even more so the Tanakh, and you will continue in these kinds of errors and make foolish and, if you're reasonable, it should be embarrassing mistakes. But you 
you should only be embarrassed to the point of making tshuva, of repenting from this idolatry, submitting yourself to the one creator who no mind can grasp, no form can contain, who transcends the need for change, and turn your life over to him, and upholding the commandments he has given upon the nations, which the people of Israel have preserved for them to learn, if they will only come and ask. Um, if you have any questions about this, if anything was unclear, please let me know. And I hope this was of some benefit. Etu. Godol Adonoi. Warig Durotha. And Hayka. Great is the Lord. And to his greatness there is no investigation. 